automating your content workflow just got a lot easier. With Zapier and Opus Clip, you can now run full video automations in bulk, which is gonna save you a ton of time. Especially if you're a marketer, or if you have a marketing agency, or if you're a content creator, you're gonna absolutely love this. First, I'm gonna share with you some examples on how to use this to reduce your workload, and then I'm gonna show you how to set up an automation step-by-step step so you can know exactly what to do. And the best part is you can have an automation set up and running within minutes of finishing this video, or you can just follow along. Okay, so the first use case for this is you can have Zapier monitoring a Dropbox folder, and when you upload your videos into that Dropbox folder, it's going to automatically take those videos and move them over into Opus Clip. And then Opus Clip is gonna go ahead and start adding the captions to it. And from there, all you have to do is log into your Opus Clip account and you can download them as soon as they're ready. The best part about this is it works in bulk. So you can have all of your content in a folder on your computer or on a hard drive, and you can take that and you can just drop it into the Dropbox folder and then it's gonna deal with it from there. So you don't have to upload videos individually up into Opus Clip anymore. You can just do everything in bulk, which is gonna save you a bunch of time. I'm gonna show you how to set this one up step-by-step step in just a minute. You can also use this to turn your long form videos into email newsletters and more. Zapier is listening 24 hours a day, seven days a week for any new projects that have been completed in your Opus Clip account. Then it gets the transcript of the long form video from Opus Clip. From there, it uses AI by Zapier to write a blog post based on your transcript. And then it emails the blog content to the email that you prefer. For a lot of these automations, a free Zapier account is gonna give you what you need, but for this particular one, you do need to have a paid Zapier account. The next one for this is sending your Zoom cloud recordings to Opus Clip for clipping. If you record a video podcast or webinars using Zoom, it's pretty inconvenient to wait around waiting for the cloud recordings to finish processing. So because of that, you can paste the link into Opus Clip and with this Zap automation, your cloud recordings are gonna automatically get sent to Opus Clip once they're done processing. And this is completely automated. You don't have to do anything. This is completely hands-off on your part. And as a quick tip for this app to work seamlessly, you need to toggle off the passcode requirement for your cloud recordings. And you'll see that right here in your Zoom settings. And you probably know this already, but just in case Zoom cloud recordings are only available on their paid plans, but if you're already using Zoom, you probably already know that. Now, in addition to these use cases, Opus Clip connects to over 6,000 different apps inside of Zapier. So the sky's the limit on what you can do, but let me show you how to set up an automation. The very first thing you wanna do is you wanna set up an account at zapier.com if you don't have one already. During the onboarding process, one of the options that you're going to see is what apps do you use in your workflows. So if you're wanting to use the Opus Clip one, then what you have to do is you just type in Opus and then you'll be able to click on it right here to choose it. If you don't go through the onboarding or you already have a Zapier account, then once you log into your account, then you wanna go up to Explore Apps. From here, just go into the search bar and type in Opus. And then right at the very top, you're gonna to see Opus Clip. Click on that. Once you do that, you're gonna to come to the Opus Clip integrations page. If you scroll down, you're going to see different pages worth of different apps that you can connect to. For this example, we're going to use Dropbox. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that. And then it's gonna bring me to this page here to where it has a, when this happens option, do this. So that's the whole thing with automation. So in this case, we are going to say when a new file is in a folder, then we want to send it to add captions to the video. And then once that's set up, we just simply hit connect these apps. And then you can see the starting point of the automation right here. So the next thing that I wanna do is I need to set up my Dropbox and my Opus Clip account so that everything can work correctly together. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click on the sign in button and I'm gonna sign into my Dropbox account. Once my Dropbox account is connected, I'm gonna come up here to the trigger event and we are looking for new file in folder. So just make sure that that's set up that way. Next, we're gonna hit continue. In this next configuration panel, in the space section, I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna select the Dropbox account that I'm gonna be pulling from. Then I'm going to type in the name of the folder. You can also get to this by clicking on static value and going in there and manually finding it. In this include files and subfolder section, if you have it set to false, then it's just gonna monitor the root folder. But if you set it to true, it's gonna monitor every folder in the root folder as well. So depending on your use case for organization and all of that, um, you might want to pick true, but in this case, I'm gonna pick false because I'm gonna be dumping everything into the main folder. For include file contents, I'm gonna have this selected for yes, and including the sharing link, I'm gonna leave that on yes also, and then I'm gonna hit continue. Now on the test panel, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna click on test trigger and it looks like it's pulling a video that's in there right now. So we're gonna just continue with the selected record, and then that will move us over into step two, which is connecting the Opus account. 
So here we already have Opus Clips selected as the app that we're using. For the action event, because we're using this to add captions to our videos, I have it already selected for adding captions to the videos, but you can see the different options here that are available to you. And then the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna connect my Opus Clip account. When this box pops up for connecting your account, it's gonna show you exactly what you are allowing Opus Clip to do, and then you want to click Allow. Next, I'm going to hit Continue. And then for the video URL, I'm gonna click on the plus icon and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to look for the share link right down here at the bottom. I'm gonna click on that. So what we're doing right there is we're telling Opus Clip to pull from this link. And then for the brand template, this is where you select the brand template that you have inside of Opus Clip. So here I'm just gonna click on the option. Then you can see here I have three different brand templates. So since this is a vertical project I'm working on, I'm just going to click this extras channel vert right here. And then now that that's selected, I'm going to come down and hit continue. Once you're on this testing tab, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down and hit test step. And what we're looking for here is to make sure that everything is connected properly so that the automations can run. And we can see here that a project was sent to Opus about zero seconds ago. So that confirms that everything is working as expected. And then I can go into my Opus Clip account that currently has 36 projects and I can hit the refresh button. And now we see that it's already working on my video here. Since we already hit the publish option that was in the tab on the right, now you can see here that if we go to the listing for our zaps, we can see Dropbox to Opus for captions. Now here, in order to make it say that, I just went over to this three dot menu and clicked rename in order to rename it into something that would help me be able to identify what it is. Pretty easy, right? Now to see other ways that Opus Clip can help you with your workflow, click into this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.